Hey, welcome to the second part of the Super AI Agent series where we are exploring and developing three different RAG techniques that we can use with WebRTC based AI agents for production use. This video is also the fifth part of our WebRTC based AI agent series where in the first part we discussed how companies like OpenAI have developed their voice assistant using WebRTC framework using this open source WebRTC project called LiveKit. In the second part, we created an AI agent system with voice and video processing capabilities for a real world dental agency service use case. In the third part, we have added features such as function calling and AI agent bringing a human help desk agent in a conference call with customers whenever it needs additional help. In the fourth part of this video, we have started introducing knowledge base to this AI agent system and exploring different RAG techniques empowered by Llama Index into this AI agent. We have already explored chat engine based RAG technique in the previous video. In this video, we are taking a look at the Llama Index query engine based RAG setup and we'll discuss its pros and cons. If you are coming into this video from the last part of the video, please straight go ahead to the Query Engine Llama Index RAG setup section using the timeline in the video description. However, if you have straight landed into this video, my recommendation would be for you to watch from the start of the LiveKit WebRTC based real world AI agent series because I have created this as a separate playlist. So please go ahead and start watch from the start of this playlist. With that said, let's proceed with the query engine based RAG setup and test it. Now that you understand how Llama Index Chat Engine works, let's go ahead and see how the query engine works. Okay, so I am going to stop this session. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this uh, vector embeddings. So that's all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this uh, Llama Index Query Engine agent and do start. Now before I start, let me quickly go through what we are doing as part of Query Engine. So Query Engine uh, works a bit differently than Chat Engine. So in Query Engine, we will use the GPT model like GPT-40 Mini and all this other stuff. And the way it will work is when the user will ask some questions, the core model or the base model will understand the question and based on that, it will actually do a function calling. So it will do like a function calling here as query dental info. And as part of the function calling, we are actually querying the uh, vector database basically. So it's not like the Llama index chat where you are embedding the, um, you are embedding the uh, response as part of the LLM itself, where in this approach, we are actually using more function calling approach. Whereas even if you want to actually get the uh, data from the database, uh, that will still be part of function calling. And as part of the function calling, we will actually query the knowledge base or the vector database, get the information and talk back to the user. So this is how it is a bit different. And the benefit it provides is because you are going to use the OpenAI model or the standard models basically for your assistance. Uh, here we are using GPT-40 Mini and, and because GPT-40 Mini has the tool calling ability, it, it will also be able to do all the other bits, all the other function calling basically. For example, calling my CRM system or calling let's say the webhook to send out the appointment link. So all this stuff it will be able to do, which is kind of a bit of restrictive with the chat engine. So that is why if you're really trying to build a chatbot experience more uh, more than an AI assistant or AI agent like experience for your use case, then you can actually use chat index engine. And that is really fast also because here it will be a bit slow because in this case, uh, there are two call happening. One is uh, you are directly calling the GPT-40 mini. It is deciding whether it needs to do function call. It comes back with the response and then it does the function call as part of the function call. Then you are actually asking the query embedding uh, into the uh, vector database. So that is how I, it's a bit slow, but you can of course add more function in it. So there is again a trade off really. So based on your use case, please decide carefully what you need. So now we will start this agent. 
helpful now the AI agent is started so you will again click there we don't need to restart it hello I'm Dela your dental assistant at no labs dental agency can I know if you are the patient or you're representing the patient yeah I am the patient great what's your name my name is Abhijit nice to meet you Abhijit how can I assist you with your dental needs today I am looking for some treatment details now my question really to you is uh, regarding this CERC procedure. So how much time it takes and how much cost uh, the CERC procedure is actually takes? The CEREC procedure typically takes about two hours to complete. As for the cost, it's around 950 pounds. It's a great option for same day dental crowns and restorations. Now, if I may kindly ask, would you like to book an appointment for the procedure or do you have more questions? No, I'm happy for if the appointment. Do, that's wonderful, Abhijit. Can I please have your email address to proceed with booking your appointment? Yeah, there you go. You can type it out. Thank you. Just to double check, your email is kenotogether at gmail.com, correct? Mm, that's right. I've sent the dental appointment booking link to your email at kotogether at gmail.com. Please check your inbox for the details. If you have any questions or need assistance with anything else, feel free to ask. Remember, taking care of your teeth is no laughing matter. Unless we're at the dentist, of course. Now, for some reason, I, I don't know why the email didn't arrive. It may be because I was testing. It arrived now as I was speaking. That's good. Because it has actually worked before. So it may be that the system is slow because I am running the recording as well as the demo. But as you can see, it has sent me the link over email where I can use and I actually book the appointment. Now, that is good let's now discuss about the final approach which is the retrieval engine agent hi the video has become so long unexpectedly so that is why i had to cut this video into three parts so all the three rag agents we are going to discuss in three parts and this is going to be uploaded almost at the same time or the near same time now as i'm building this particular ai agent to be become a production like ai agent I will cover it in more details and more in depth and I'll show you how to build such things as part of the SAS course that I have already pre-launched and as part of the course you will be also part of our meetups where the students and the other business owners who, uh, who I name as SAS mastermind they come up into a meetup session and these courses are only available to those members it's weekly meetup events and the course is really available at 50% off at the moment because of the pre-launch phase. So if you really want to make your own SaaS through a proper procedure using SOP and everything else, please don't uh, miss this chance to grab the course because it's still in pre-launch phase. We are still building the course and you will be part of the building process as well. So that means by the time you will end up the course, you will have your own SaaS application ready. And I'll also show you how to build a proper production ready AI agent as SaaS as part of this course so i really hope to see you in our next meetup call and if you have any questions any doubts uh, please come and join this community uh, this community is going really fast i have just launched this community four or five weeks back so we have already got 366 members so please come and join the community and give um, your feedback uh, help other people and let's know and grow together so i'll see you on the next video till then take care